Well, I dragged the old man, William Arthur Bond, who I mentioned earlier, who I met while I still had my RV. He's a serious, serious alcoholic. But he's 73, and he doesn't remember me from conversation to conversation, but I, dragged, I told him to get down here earlier. Because, you know, he doesn't have a place where he can drink and fall asleep, basically, which is all he wants. He's not going to be quitting drinking. You know? So I dragged him down here. He's here. Dragged him the whole way. Fearful of losing anything from his card. A piece of useless cardboard. Just anything. I was like, dude, I am the light. Follow me. I am your guide. You know. So I got him here. And so I told Sherry, who thinks she runs the fucking place, but... I just thought I'd be polite and let her know that there's a guy here. And so she just, you know, it always comes back to her fucking trip. So she's like, well, you know, there are other services. And I was like, you know what? I just thought I'd tell you because you're the busy fucking body anyway. So you're going to find out. And so she was like, well, what did that guy like, like beat you up for the, you know, you got your stitch. And I was like, you know what? I was thinking, you know what? You're a fucking abusive cunt that would use anything to attack anyone when it comes down to it. Like... Like the guy attacking me with the mule card and the stitches has anything to do with her being a fucking busybody cunt that wants to get involved on the one hand, but wants to chastise you on the other should you actually involve her. Yeah, so this is the guy I was talking about, William. And that's Sherry, the busybody. I was telling you he was going to get in your business anyway. All right, well, that's her. So now you guys have met you don't finish with me don't finish with me because i'm kind of sick of your trip whatever you're tripping right now yeah i am i'm tripping on your trip because deep down under all that nice crap you're actually an abusive bitch yeah, well, we all have our problems, yes, okay? You're still alive, aren't you? So be quiet. More than you are. Be quiet. Fucking busybody cunt. So I should be trying to control your shit in the future anyway, so I thought you guys should get to know each other. Anyway. Well, she was, she was, she was bitchy with me because I'm, because I'm there. Right, I mean, yeah. I don't even know her. I know. I Why is she gonna be like that to me? Because she's a fucking busybody cunt, like I told you. I guess. <laughs> anyway. Can I get in there? No, Arthur. It's a one-man tent. I just brought you to the promised land so you can set up your own shit. But you can't, you can't make one with my life here. Arthur, I, right now I want my space, right? Okay, all right, you can sit here. You can sit here now. Finish your beer. All right, but here you have space to find your own space. You can get a tent here. You can sleep where you like, more or less. Uh, you know, you don't want to be bothering people too much, but make your own space. And if you do need help, let me know, and I'll do what I can, or let her know. Although she is a busybody cunt that will use it against you later. Mm -hmm. Oh, William, William, yeah. Well, you're going to have to take care of that kind of stuff yourself, but you're here. And you can fall asleep. You can go in the shade and you can get drunk and you can fall asleep. Where? <laughs> wherever you, wherever there's free space. Wherever you see free space, you can preferably not right in front of someone else's tent or right next to me or something, but give, give everyone your own space and create your own. And there's materials around. You can create shade. You can. Where's right? Mary's piece of shack, bro? It's right across the street, like the where right my finger is, right there. Okay. Okay. I'll go over there. I'm not be in the tent. And, All right. Uh, Give yourself right, some time to think about what you like to do. Okay. All right. Really, uh, Martha Bond. Right on. <laughs> bug off. Yeah. All right, Popeye. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to do a few things. Where the white hand of Moses on the bow puts out Jesus from the ground suspires. There you go. 
Yes, thank sir. you for helping me. It's my pleasure. It's my my honor. Thank my, you so much. My uh, I don't know if I could have made that. In, I, no, you probably couldn't. Have. Sat or you probably now wouldn't. I'm in Rowan Park. It's better here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I'm here you got the park right across pizza. the street. Go to Mary's Pizza. They probably know you there. Nobody knows me. Not really. Yeah. Not deep down. Maybe once in a while a girl might come by.